I do believe in this time, especially as we get deeper into the quarantine, we're going to start running out of things and we're going to have to start, um, you know, digging in the back of that good old cupboard. Right. right? So what's, right. what's something that we can do with some beans? Because, you know, everybody's got way too many beans right oh. now. What's something we can do with some beans you know, to make them a little exciting? It's so funny because this morning I just pulled out a bag of black beans and I am not kidding. And I've got them soaking uh, in a little bit of salt water. You know, I know you don't have to soak them anymore. You can slow cook them to a heat. But, you know, I'm old fashioned, you know, and it also puts me in touch with the ancestors. You know, you put Mm -hmm. those beans in a a big pot and run some cold water and let them soak, you know, and and you got time, you know. Right, exactly. you, you find, you know, I like to cook my beans with stock, uh, whatever kind of stock you like, vegetable, chicken, beef. But I like I like to add flavor as opposed to take it away. And so, you know, throw those things in, in a pot of stock and let them let them uh, come to a, a slow boil. Throw some onions, some garlic, some peppers. Again, aromatics brings everything to life, some cumin celery seeds, whatever you got, you just want to build flavor in a pot. And then when you cook them, the, the, the thing about uh, black beans, and actually I made some uh, maybe a week ago, I, I, uh, I created a tomato sauce and poured the tomato sauce into the bean. So I have like a red gravy black bean concoction. Ooh. Imagine that over some rice. Oh my you God, know? that sounds amazing. That's a good, that's a good meal. And it stays. I mean, you can, you can hold on to this. And I would say, especially for folks who have a single household or just a couple of people, make big food and throw it in the freezer in individual yes. um, bags so you can heat it up. I mean, you know, you know me, baby. I mean, at the drop of a hat, I can set a table, you know. Yes. I go to that freezer because I cook every day. So mm-hmm. I go, there's lamb stew, there's beef stew, there's smothered chicken, there's <laughs> shrimp, and too fat. there's everything up in there. And in no you know, time, uh, you, you can be eating, add a little salad. And let me just add this other note too, baby, because if you run out of fresh vegetables, don't be afraid to buy the frozen leafy vegetables. They are just as good and they will work for you. 